I'm recording this. Not even sure why I'm doing this, but I just wanted to share um, a little about fear, about how much fear can affect a person, how much fear of the truth can hurt, how much it can eat you from the inside, um, how much it changed you as a person. Um, on one hand, um, it helps you to be brave. It helps you to um, put on the front, you know, that it is something that you want to hide because you don't want people to see or fear people because the norm is if you're afraid you're weak if you fear of something you're weak and for me especially having to deal with a lot of things my whole life I learned to hide my fear I learned to um, put on a brief, brief front I, I learned to cry on my own and not show people my weakness well the last three weeks have been very challenging they have been hard have been um yeah it's just destroying me as a person but even though it is i i always smile when i meet my friends i try not to show them how much i'm afraid of the situation i mean yeah so what life goes on and I'm not saying that my situation is worse than any one of you I'm sure many of you have gone through a situation many of you have overcome a lot more than what I have many of you have gone through this illness and not just outlive the person who went through this illness I found out that my mom had cancer or have cancer last week when we were told there was a tumor it's I'm sure all of us go through the same I mean for the person who's going through it I'm sure it is a devastating news it is a life-changing news and I can't imagine what you as a person who has to suffer through it or survive through it is dealing with I can only talk from the perspective of someone who who loves the person so much the person is going through it so much and living hundreds and thousands of miles away not able to hold her hand when she heard the news and not able to be there for her. After being there for her for 42 years of my life, I left Singapore, I live in the Netherlands for the last eight years, I haven't visited her for the last four years. And she was hospitalized the first thing that came through my mind is that I think she has it. And I don't know, for the life of me, Maybe the connection we have, maybe being with her throughout my life, knowing what I know, I was aware that that could possibly be the news. Although I push it aside, I don't want to think about it, I don't want to feel it because I'm so afraid that it will be real. But then, the nightmares that follow every night told me that it is probably is and two weeks ago my brother broke the news and now I know it is real it is it, it is cancer and she has to go through surgery I hide myself in my work I try not to think about it but it's so difficult, I can't do my work, I can't.
can't focus on my work. I can't pull myself together. I can't. I can't cry. I'm not crying. I hold back my tears all the time. I was so afraid that if I let this take over me, it would ruin my life. It would make me a weak person. It would not allow me to be strong for my mom. And, oh, and I don't know. Everything's bad me to be strong. Everybody's telling me to be strong. Everybody's telling me it won't be okay. I'm trying to remain positive. I'm trying to to be there for my mom. I book with like that next week, first in four years, <laughs> because I've always been so busy with work. First, <laughs> now I have to put my mother first because she has always been <laughs> my mom. She's the reason why I am who I am today. She's the reason why I become <laughs> the soft person that I am. I, am be I become the strong person that I am. I foreign country alone yeah you have friends but it's it's not one thing to burn on your friends is what you go through is what's keeping me and it's what is keeping me keep everything inside <sighs> it is so painful because I don't want to lose I think none of us want to lose our moms. <laughs> but we know the inevitable someday. <sighs> On the 17th, she has to go through two major surgeries, six to eight hours. I don't even know if I can make through the day. But, but I will try for her sake and I will, I'll make sure that I'm there for her. I will. Oh, thank you for listening, my friends, my dear friends. Well, I, I'm just hoping for a miracle and I just hope for your prayers for my mom because <laughs> she the world to me and she needs all the prayers she can get then yeah if she survived to it I will be so eternally grateful if she won't I would still be eternally grateful <laughs> because I would have been able to be there for I would have been able to and I love her so much. I love all my friends so much. And I always try to be there for everybody. Please take care. Thanks for listening. And blessings to all of you. And if you're going through the same, be strong. Don't be afraid to be afraid. Don't be afraid to face your fear. Don't be afraid to tell people around you that you're afraid. Don't be afraid to just let it all out. It's therapy. That's a really good therapy. 
Yeah. Inshallah you feel better after that.